my skincare routine that I currently use in 2018. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that I do is I use the Garnier Micellar Water with some of these cotton pads things. So yeah, I'm gonna do that first. I've literally been feeling a bit down to earth today, guys. So decided to put my hair in this really messy, messy bun. And the glasses are off. So the first thing I do is, yeah, I get this, put some of this on one of these and just wipe it off. Um, so I don't actually do much with my skin. Like I don't put much on it because I've like found this one routine that just does it for me and it's been working and I get I have clear skin the majority of the time so I've just stuck with it so I think it helps not to put as many products on because they won't feel like too good for your skin so I've used that and it's a bit grim and it's I've used like both sides so now I'll just get another one because there's no point using that one it's dirty and sometimes I will actually use a makeup wipe to just get rid of the first layer but today I thought you know what we're going all out a skincare routine but if I do use wipes I'll use um, these ones the from Home Bargains micellar water facial wipes so I'll just use them and I'll use one of those and wipe my face and then use another right I'm gonna use this mirror a sec because I don't want to wipe my eyebrows off because I think I said this in my eyebrow routine I don't wipe them off completely because my eyebrows are so blonde it's easier for me to just keep them on and it's I've not seen it it's not felt dirty or anything like it's not done it's not had a bad effect on me so I just keep it like that so yeah I'll keep that on and I think that's about it for my micellar water cleaning stage so then i'll put that back in my little skincare thing which you'll see in a couple of weeks if i, if I do a skincare hot like collection then i'll put all this in but the next few things are over here so the next thing that i'll actually do is use more of these things wherever i can wherever. The next thing I'll do is use more of the cotton pads and the Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. This is running out, like, you see where that line is? That is how much is left. But I have got a brand new one in here, so prepared. Oops. So put some of that on. I don't need too much, but I always end up putting way too much on. And this basically just. I don't actually know what it does. I just use it. Well, it's moisturising. I think it like does something to your pores, but it gets that little excess bit of makeup off that I didn't know I still had on me, which I use it for. But it just moisturises my skin and makes it feel really nice. Then after that, I'll get my Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Cream, and I'll take a tiny bit of this and just a bit on my face and I do like this moisturizer this is it's about I think it's it's expensive I know that but I've been getting it in like gift sets and stuff and I don't really like buy it that often because it lasts so long because you need the tiniest bit but I thought I'd give you a little story time while I'm here um went to my rounders presentation on Friday and we went to go get some food and I fell over and wax my face on a bollard. So now this cheek is very bruised and to put anything on it really hurts. So yeah, that's a cute little story time. It was quite embarrassing as well because it's on a massive car park. But yeah, right, ow. So that's my moisturizer done. Like I said before, I don't do much on my skin, but I thought I'd show you while I'm here. These are the 
skincare bits that I use out. I always wash my face in the shower, I'll let you know that. Um, so for that I'll use either, what is that? Yeah, I'll either use this Mario Badescu cleansing gel. I've not used much of this, I've only used this once I think. But I do like the Neutrogena great pink grapefruit facial wash. That's what I use every day. Well, every time I have a shower, which is basically every day. Um, and I also have, let me grab these. These T-Zone nose pore strips, and I, these work well. I've got the charcoal ones as well, but I can't get them out. So if I'm gonna use any face masks, I will use either one of these two T-Zone ones. So I've got the charcoal black peel off mask and the rose gold peel off mask. This one is, well this one's brightening, this is a rose gold one. Vitamin C helps brighten and clarify the skin while well, urea and I don't know what it says it's good anyway I use that I think I've used that once or twice but I've used this one a few times and this unblocks pores and lifts away blackheads um yeah so I like those too T-Zone is one of my favourite brands and I actually use this like every single day this is the T-Zone effective targeted action spot zapping gel but if I'm not quite feeling that, I've also got the Body Shop Tea Tree Targeted Gel. This is a good one as well. Um, and the last face mask is actually from, I think I got this from the Pound Shop. But I do use it like every time. Of, I love it, I think it's great. But it's a Beauty Formulas Charcoal Clay Mask. So I use that before I go in the shower because I don't like... I don't like face masks that you have to wash out, wash off, unless I'm going in the shower because I don't like, I just don't like washing stuff off. Like that's why I don't wash my face like without being in the shower. But the next part of my routine would be after the moisturiser. Today I'm going to use the body shot one, but the target gel that I spoke about before, just on any blemishes that I can see coming out because this really helps because. It kind of like stops them but doesn't stop them like it like they kind of go away quicker if I use this. So I've not got many at the minute but I've got a couple. But I don't normally actually get spots, it's quite weird actually. I used to get them all the time and then I started with this like proper skincare routine and they kind of just started to go away. Um, so the last thing I'm going to use is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I've seen a lot of people use this as like a primer spray or like a setting spray but I just put it on to like rejuvenate my skin after that. So yeah, dry that off. So guys, that's the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, on if you keep up with my Twitter, I do post quite a lot on there. And I also post quite a lot on my Instagram, Snapchat. So follow me on all my socials because you'll keep up to date. And I posted on my Twitter the other day that I wouldn't be able this video would be going up late. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get this up as soon as possible. Whenever you're seeing this, I'm not sure when that'll be. So yeah. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did and turn the notification bell on don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel because i have a few vlogs on there like prom leaving school stuff like that so yeah um and i'll see you next week for a video bye